60 seconds. 40. Yes. I, I need all the paperwork. I don't know where it is. I'm like lost without it. Hey, Ray. Hey there. Hi there. Ho oh, there. My name's Cookie. Uh, one question, How many people are playing the game? Okay, you're a single player. Is that right? Okay, why don't you type in your name for me? Start a new one, Clark. Uh, one other thing. Are you looking for a full 21 question game or more like, uh, you know, a 7? Yeah, I got it. Is this a joke for you people? S C. Okay, your buzzer is the letter B, as in the Mary Tyler Bohr show. They need to be, they need to be color designated well, and the proper outlets, please. Yeah, I hear you. 20, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah, I'm hey, we got 20. All right. A question comes on the screen. You think you know the answer. You buzz in. You pick one of the choices on the screen. You with me? Good. 10 seconds. Good luck. Okay, Nine. let's lose Eight. the desktop. No, Seven. And Six. get a black. Okay, you're up, Buzz. Four. Three. Stand by. Here you go. Have a good one. You Consult physician before using. You may not really be a leper. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Hey, all right. How you doing? Welcome to the show. Playing by yourself today. That's cool. I'll close my eyes. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Okay, pick a category. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. And we call this one flowers. A great way to say I hate you. This might be a hard one. Three grand. Okay, let's say a bunch of celebrities are transported back to 15th century England. Because they have the same last name as the two warring houses in the Wars of the Roses, which pair might be forced to square off? Richard Simmons and Jason Priestley, Richard Thomas and Vanessa Redgrave, Burt Lancaster and Dick York, or Ray Charles and Pete Rose. <laughs> In case you're interested, here's the right answer. <laughs> the red rose was the mark of the House of Lancaster. The white rose was the symbol of the House of York. I think those two might fight if Dick finds out it was Samantha Stevens Bert was kissing on the beach in From Here to Eternity. How about it? We need a category. Here comes question two. It'll make you feel brand new. This one's gonna be... Well, I'll be witched. And this one's gonna be worth $1,000. Imagine this episode of Bewitched. Samantha asks the goofy maid Esmeralda to vacuum the living room, but instead she makes the living room into a vacuum. What has Esmeralda done? She's re Esmeralda would have to remove all matter from the room to create a vacuum. You should have seen what happened when she was asked to make Tabitha lunch. Come on, we need a category. Put on your pens for the naked dance. Three. Okay, coming up, this category is Flicka Your Bicka. Get this right, get $2,000. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. If Flicka from the movie My Friend Flicka were to star in a sequel called My Friend Wicca, what my Flicka's a horse, and Wicca is a neo pagan religion. <laughs> And I'm not going to make any jokes here, because I don't want to be turned into a newt. Take your pick. What do you say? Shake it up the floor. Shake it up the floor. The category is radioactive rats. Okay, the right answer nets you 1,000 bucks. Suppose your neighborhood pest control professionals are now legally able to use nuclear weapons. Say the exterminators want to eliminate the pest with one nuclear blast. If they want to guarantee the greatest kill potential with the least structural damage, what kind of bomb should they use? Hey, looks like you're going to lose your cherry. I, I mean, it looks like cherry is going to make you lose. Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. Neutron bombs are designed to keep the blast level low and the radiation level high. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I hate to see any inanimate objects get harmed. Alright, go ahead and pick one. Number five! 
All right, next up. Why, that's a trip of a different color. Two G's for a right answer. Imagine that after spending a few dull weeks back in Kansas with Auntie M and Uncle Henry, Dorothy decides to hitch a ride on a twister back to the land of Oz. Based on its average number of tornadoes per year, in which state would Dorothy have the best chance of catching a... Kansas really blows, but it doesn't have the highest average. Too bad you didn't pick this. With an average of over 100 twisters per year, Dorothy's best bet is to go to Texas. It'll be nice for her to see more of the U.S., and she has a great excuse for hanging around in trailer parks. Come on, we need a category. Category, let's do it. Candy striping in heaven. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. All right, fingers limber, cause here comes the question. All right, little angel, it's your turn to pass out refreshments in heaven's dead artist swing. Based on his paintings, which candy would George Sur Surratt invented pointillism, a technique of painting with very small strokes or dots. He also had a lot of trouble talking with those things. How about it? We need a category. Category. Serves them right. 3,000 bananas for a right answer here. Okay, it's fantasy time. Imagine an angry liberal fairy has appeared and turned several prominent public figures into animals of the following who is not a weasel. Jesse Helms the mongoose, Rush Limbaugh the polecat, Donald Trump the ferret, or Newt Gingrich the wolverine. Jesse, the mongoose, is not a weasel. For Jesse, mongoose is an upgrade. Okay. Here's why we hate number eight. And this question's category is pictures of death. And this one's worth $2,000. Okay, look closely at this movie poster. What would be the best name for this movie? Pedicure Cemetery, the Texas Chainsaw Manicure Care of the Hands and Nails is called a manicure. Damn, you broke my nail! Alright, go ahead and pick one. Guys with big hats. Uh, some, somebody just handed me a piece of paper with the Pope's name on it in Rome. Come on, it's a joke. All right. <laughs> we're, we're making a celebrity collect call to the head of the Catholic Church. Uh, I'm, I'm calling the Pope. Uh, all right. Uh, country code. Uh, okay, uh, I, I am now dialing the Pope. Schmidt told me that, uh, that his people called him that, that he, uh, he loves a gibberish. It's <laughs> cool. All right. Buongiorno. You reached the Vatican City voicemail system. If you would like to talk to the Pope, press 1. If you would like to report a miracle, All right, press um, 2. Helen, was he expecting this phone call? Yeah, uh, 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 stand, uh, stand well, uh, Alright, sorry folks, I thought we were going to talk to the Pope. Let's, uh, let's go on to the next category. Come on, we need a category. Uh-oh, press what's with Mime Door. It's time for... All right, this gibberish category is... Foot problems in a flaky crust. 5,000 bucks is the opening value here. All right, I'm taking cash away every second and a half. So the faster you are, the more you score. Okay, tell me, with what cliché does this rhyme? Bake a full pie of corn. Okay, go for it. Type it. <laughs> but if you're gonna grab the bull, make sure you buy it dinner first. Pick your pick. What do you say? 
this category is time to water the frog. Two thousand bucks riding on this one. Check this out. If Kermit the Frog had been Kermit the Fern instead, his famous song, It's Not Easy Being Green, might have been about the difficulty of producing what? Carbon dioxide. Plants produce oxygen. They consume carbon dioxide. Remind me not to let you on the Moon Colony Planning Committee. Let me show you what someone smart would have picked. Chlorophyll makes plants green. And there's nothing kids like more than songs about photosynthesis. All right, we've been through round one. Let's get on to round two, okay? How about it? We need a category. The category is, would you believe that's a gun in my pants? This one's worth $4,001 bills. Okay, imagine this episode of Get Smart. Secret agent Maxwell Smart is in the clutches of a bizarre chaos trap. He can only be saved by a control agent whose code name is a prime number. Which of these agents can save him? Agent 86, Agent 69, Agent 57. Agent 57? Why don't you get out your little calculator and multiply 19 by 3, Professor? <laughs> Too bad you didn't choose this. 71 is only divisible by itself and 1, which means Agent 71's a prime agent. It also means he's a very lonely man. Okay, pick... 12. The category. All work and no play makes Jack a dull game. We're talking 6,000 bucks for this one. Remember that scene in the movie The Shining where Jack Nicholson goes into the hotel room and finds that beautiful woman bathing in the tub? If Jack Nicholson were the Greek mythological character Actaeon and the naked woman he stumbled upon were Artemis, what would she do to him? She would turn him into a stag and have dogs rip him off, kiss him, then turn into a hideous old woman, condemn him to push a rock up a hill forever, or release the spawn of hell to suck on his flesh. Here's the right answer. Artemis turned Actian into a stag and hounds chewed him to pieces. Eat your heart out, Siegfried Roy. Alright, go ahead and pick one. This category is Basic Reading in Politics 101. 4,000 bucks behind this one. It's time to fill in the blank. Limber up those fingers. When you know the answer, buzz in and start typing. Considering the Watergate scandal and how Nixon left office, how would you complete this sentence? C. Dick Blank. In case you're interested, here's the right answer. Tricky Dick resigned from office before he could be impeached. An alternate answer could have been C. Dick have an overblown, subjective, fictionalized three-hour movie made about his life by Oliver Stone. How about it? We need a cat. Alright, next up. Presidents in denial. 2,000 bucks for right answer. Hang on tight, cause here we go. Bill Clinton is to socks as Richard Nixon is to Tricky Dick, Checkers. Socks is the Clinton's cat. Checkers was the Nixon's family dog. So we've got the one that says he didn't inhale, the one that says he wasn't a crook, and the two that say they didn't make the mess on the Oval Office rug. Take your pick, what do you say? Category, let's do it. Yes, that is trash. We got four grand on the table. Time to go dumpster diving. Let's see. Oh, what do we have here? I see an old hair clog, a cap, 13 watermelon rinds, a sledgehammer with a... Gallagher is a comedian who's famous for smashing watermelons. Ha ha ha, get it? <laughs> Who says intelligent political humor is dead? Come on, we need a category. 
an outstanding selection because under that category is one major league point racking question, the Disordat. Here's a category for this Disordat. It takes a nation of millions to cool us down. Okay, I'm going to read off seven things and free... Oh, okay, you already know what you're doing. Well, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's do it. Vanilla ice, wrapper, or refreshing drink. Ice cube. Crystal light. RC cola. Tap. MGD. Last one. Exit. That's all she wrote. <laughs> Only one wrong. Pretty damn good, cowboy. Let's toss that into your total. Yeah, good shoot, Dex. Okay, let's keep a moseying on here. All right, go ahead. Okay, coming up, this category is the landlady from hell. We are talking four big ones. Who might have placed this room for rent advertisement? Many rooms to rent, must have fondness for children, free dinner of broth, no bread, served daily, heat, water, and nightly beatings included. Carol Brady, the lady of... I think not. Here's what you should have picked. The old woman that lived in a shoe. I heard she used to have hardwood floors in there, but now she's got wall-to-wall -wall odor eaters. How about it? We need a category. This one's gonna be XYZ PDQ. Pop a right answer, you got 4K. Okay, peel your eyes, free your mind, cause here we go. In the 1980s, if someone caught you with their SLR discussing the S&P with a CFO and reported you to the SEC of what might you be accused? Someone caught you talking about the stock market with the chief financial officer and then rats to the Securities and Exchange Commission. <laughs> Sure, you'll go to jail. A special jail. One of those ruthless jails with a golf course and a croquet team. Okay, pick a category. The category is whiskey business. This one's worth six grand. Old style beer is famous for being fully croisoned. Now, if you were to croisin Tom Cruise, what would you need to do to him? Add food coloring to him for a golden color, beat him until he's foamy, add fermented liquid to him for carbonation, or lower him to a sub-zero temperature. Beat him until he's foamy? What would Nicole say? And over here we have the right answer. <laughs> to make Tom Croizen, you'd add a fermented liquid to him to produce natural carbonation. You want the bubbles? I want the bubbles! You can't handle the bubbles! Alright, go ahead and pick one. Superstar. No special. 20. And we call this one, Someone's a Miss Here. Get this right, get $2,000. Okay, for this one, I'm not going to read the possible answers. You'll have to read them to yourself. Got it? Here we go. How would Mississippi's happily married mother write her name? And I think I'll just take this question out of the way so you don't cheat. Mississippi? No, man, Mississippi's not, like, tied down to any of that corporate Republican holy matrimony crap. <laughs> How could you miss this, Mississippi? Mississippi. Her marriage worked out a lot better than Missouri's. Take your pick. What do you say? Ah, you've been here before. Well, hope you're prepared this time. Here's your clue. Excuse me, where can I find the twins? Hmm, I was just wondering that myself. Here we go.
you did to your score. That's the game. Woo, you want to lie down? That must have taken something out of you. Well, let me fill back up your electrolyte count with these words. You don't know Jack! Okay, uh, good job, everybody. Let's roll the commercials and, um, uh, Cookie, what's happening with the players? Oh, my God! They're on the high scoreboard! Can you believe it? How, how exciting! Are you kidding me? I couldn't care less if you get up.